Hey guys, Vin from the Barry Gentleman, and today we're going to be checking out another over-ear headset from JBL. A little while ago I did a review on the JBL 710 GAs, and I wanted to go ahead and see their upper version of that. So let's go ahead and see how these hold up. So these were actually the same price as the JBL 710s. Uh, however, this is a refurbished one, so it doesn't have the retail packaging. So this is everything we had inside the box. Over here in this small package, we have our micro USB charging cable, we have our headphone jack, and we have our literature. And in here, we have our headset. Let's go ahead and get this opened. Got a great case in here. This is almost identical to the case that they shipped out with the 710 GAs. However, it's got like a little pocket here, which I kind of like. Nice feature. Let's go ahead and get this guy open. Nice. Look at that. We have this uh, pouch in here. We have a removable pouch in there. Interesting. Does it have anything inside? So that's kind of neat. It gives you an airplane adapter in here. That's pretty cool. And the way the material works in this, like you just like pop that anywhere in the case and look at it, it stays there pretty solid. Oh, we got something else in here. We have another airplane adapter. Since this is like a refurbished one, I feel like somebody like returned this and they slipped this in there and nobody at JBL noticed. Let's go ahead and move on to the actual headset. So this is a 750 variant and these are noise canceling. The 710s I did earlier were not, but they had this cool Google Assistant thing built in. And I'm kind of curious to see if these have it as well. This was kind of an impulse buy, so I just went ahead and uh, bought it without reading much because it was so cheap. Nice. Oh, this is memory foam. Okay, so hopefully that'll fix itself later. Same layout as the 710GA. So you have your entire control panel here on the right ear cup. We have our power button. We have our volume up and down buttons and a pause button in the middle and a micro USB charging cable. And then JBL has the, their sound share thing, so you can share the music between the headphones. And on the other side, we have our headphone jack adapter. And uh, just for comparison, I have the 710 GAs over here as well. I want to show you. They look very similar. Um, even the case itself looks very similar. See that? So these are the 710 GAs. These are the 750 with the noise cancellation. There you go. One other difference I noticed is on this one, the charging port is on the side with all the controls. And on the other one, it is on the Google Assistant side and has a headphone jack on the reverse end. Other than that, really, they're about the same. And also this uh, material here is different on both of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy paired up. To turn it on, we're just gonna flip the switch. Ah, uh, there we go. We can see that it pops up as the JBL Everest Elite 750NC. So these don't have their own interface with the Google Assistant that the 710s did. So you got to go ahead and uh, go pair it manually to the Bluetooth. All right, now that we're all paired up, let's go ahead and do a sound test. Alrighty guys, real quick, let me do an introduction to Mike. Mike has a microphone in him, and I've kind of drilled out the sides of his head. 
So we'd be able to go ahead and uh, test out our active noise canceling and stuff like that on headphones. And basically how we're going to do this is I'm first going to record uh, the amount of background noise that Mike picks up. And then I'm going to go ahead and record with the um, active noise canceling on. And that way we'll be able to see like if there is that big of a difference. Because there are different degrees to noise cancellation. Like you can get like the Sony WX whatever. Like those are like top of the line. But they also have like lower end ones. Uh, so this one I believe originally was also like around the $300 price tag. But despite it being around the same price point. That was a couple years ago. Like these are a little bit old. Let's go ahead and see if these still hold up. Alright microphone test one two three. All right, so this is what Mike hears. So let's go ahead and imagine that like you're on a bus or something or on a plane and you got like a very annoying guy next to you. Let's see if you can drown him out. Alrighty guys, so just did my sound test with these, and these are amazing. I love them. Like, I'm telling you, like, this is some, like, really good top-notch stuff here. Like, especially in terms of, like, sound quality. Like, it was fantastic. Alrighty guys, so real quick, this does have an app. So this is through the JBL Headphones app, not the JBL Connect app. Alright, so in the app, we have a few options here for our headset. Let me just go ahead and hit the start. So you can go ahead and do the auto calibration that it has in here, and that really helps. You don't need to do it necessarily through the app. They do have a button over here. They call it the smart button that lets you go ahead. If you hold it for a couple seconds, it'll go ahead and trigger that. I just want to give you guys a couple of the options here. So noise canceling is on by default, and there's no off switch on the headphones themselves. So if you want to turn off noise canceling, you have to turn it off in the app, which I kind of find quirky, but... It is what it is. So there we go. We turned off noise canceling. And uh, so if we turn it on, go to ambient aware, which is one of my favorite features on this. You can actually adjust it and not just like overall, like you can adjust it like per side. So if you want to be able to hear on your right side, but not on your left side, you can go ahead and change that. So in my opinion, like it's really great and it works like instantly. There's no lag on that. And through the app, you can also go ahead and adjust your equalizer. Basically, all the features I was missing on the 710 GAs, this one has, and it does everything, like, so great. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'm in love with these headphones. Like, I think these held up really well. I got them, like, for 70 bucks, like, on clearance. This is the refurbished one. I think, like, the non-refurbished is, like, 100 bucks or whatever. But either way, like, it's definitely worth the money, in my opinion. And just for example, I have my... Uh, H070s here from Let's Coms, and these also do really well in my opinion. Um, I think both these handle the active noise canceling very similarly, where it does a really good job at drowning out your background noise. However, like if somebody's like very loud next to you, like right next to you, it's not going to be able to drown them out. So just keep that in mind. But it's really good, like if you're traveling, whatever, like if you're on an airplane, if you're on a bus ride. If you're on any type of like public transportation, this will definitely help you like kind of drown everything out. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on to our grading of these. So let's go ahead and start with our positives as always. And really like the sound quality on these is amazing. These are the best sounding pair of headphones I have. Like definitely for sure, like these sound amazing and I love them. Uh, I had an issue with the 710 GAs where they sounded great. They provided great clarity and a very true and accurate sound. However, I felt like they lacked a little bit in bass, and this definitely goes ahead and fills that bridge for me. Like, this is, like, fantastic. The next positive is the control panel here on the right ear, and the layout is just perfect because you can go ahead and differentiate between what all these little switches do. And the next big positive is the ambient aware, which I think 
is very helpful in a lot of scenarios. So by default, the active noise canceling is on. And the only interaction you get with the active noise canceling on the headset itself is through the ambient aware mode, which is triggered by the smart button over here. And lastly, the active noise canceling on this is great. It's not as good as something like, let's say, the Sony WX, but it works really well nonetheless. And to wrap up the positives, this has the auto calibration, which does a really great job of kind of like getting a sense of your surroundings, and it helps out even more with the active noise canceling and stuff. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the cons. And there really aren't that many, um, and I think I'm being nitpicky at best. And they're not really so much as cons, just as features I would have wished to have seen. And one of those features is the integration with the Google Assistant. I didn't think like I would miss it that much. Um, that is on the 710 GAs, and uh, the GA standing for Google Assistant, of course. And that whole integration, it just works out so well. And they had like a smart button on the side that went ahead and toggled the Google Assistant whenever you needed it. It's really helpful, especially nowadays, because so many of us are using our voice assistants to do more and more. And other than that, I kind of wish they had an on-off switch on the headset itself for the active noise canceling. It doesn't. Um, kind of surprising to me, especially because if you have active noise canceling on like all the time, that's going to kill your battery like super quick. So my final grade for these is definitely an A+. It fills in all of the gaps that the 710GAs had. And even though they're a year old, these held up really, really well. And the only real con about it is that it doesn't have the ANC button on here, but everybody's got their phones now all the time anyways, and it's very easy to switch on and off in the app. If you guys got any questions about these, you can go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. If you guys liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.